Suzanne Pillens from Suzanne's Ministry, Step Out in Faith. And today we're going to speak about full authority in Jesus' name. It took perfect love and righteousness to bring our salvation. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten Son, that those who believe in him shall not die, but shall have everlasting life. The greatest verse of the whole of creation. It was from his Father. The Father of Jesus sent Jesus into the world. And Jesus it was perfect love and righteousness. This is a Son of God. And that this gave him the power and authority over every force of darkness. Let's read Acts 10, 38. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. It was this perfect love and righteousness that gave Jesus this authority to forgive our sins, to deliver us from curses, to heal our sick bodies, to free us from poverty, free us from our rebellion, and totally transform us from death to eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus had to sacrifice his life on the cross for us to give us his authority. He gave us this authority as well and rose from the dead in total and complete victory over every sin, every sickness and over death itself. Only Jesus has conquered sin, sickness and death, no other. Let's read Ephesians 1 from verse 11. In him we have obtained an inheritance, having been pressed in according to the purposes of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we, who were the first to hope in Christ, might be to the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is our guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. And then we can go to Ephesians 4, verses 8 to 12. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. It says he ascended. What does it mean? But he also descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry and for building up the body of Christ. This is given to us. Isn't that wonderful? The Spirit is given to us in different gifts to build up the church, to witness to one another. The seven sayings of Jesus on the cross covered all seven areas of our lives that need his healing and deliverance, our complete salvation. Then the Lord empowered us 
by his Holy Spirit to then deliver other people from the kingdom of darkness and transfer them into the kingdom of heaven by sharing the wonderful message of what Jesus has done on the cross for us. Only his death on the cross could enable all this. So how should we respond? The only way we can respond is know that we cannot make it on our own. No one, no matter how good they try to be, is able to attain perfect righteousness. Because it says in the Bible, all have sinned, all have fallen short of the glory of God. But the good news is, when we accept Jesus, as our Lord and Savior and we get blessed and filled with his Holy Spirit we are transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of heaven and then God gives us his gift of righteousness to enable us to live in victory to enable us to then go out and share the good news with others we want everyone to go to heaven, don't we? Especially ourselves, especially our family, especially our friends. And you're the one that can do it. But we first have to receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So if you have not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior, I invite you to share a simple, simple prayer with me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Please forgive me every sin I've ever done. I choose to follow you in your truth and righteousness from this moment on. Thank you for forgiving me. Please come into my heart and life as my Lord and Savior. Please fill me with your blessed Holy Spirit. I receive you now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And you said that prayer. Get to know God in prayer. By yourself. I believe in you. Join a Bible believing church and get baptized in water if you have not yet been baptized. And remember, share your faith with others. God bless you so much. Jesus loves you.